Hemisphere of 40 mm diameter is coaxially supported on the vertex of the cone. So that means we need to draw the this hemisphere which has been kept over a cone. So cone base diameter is 60, axis length is 50. So that means so first thing is I we need to draw the cone. The diameter is 60 base diameter is 60 height of the axis is 50 and anyway if you're going to see the cross section of it this is going to be on the horizontal surface and it will look like a circle over this I need to place a hemisphere the diameter is we need to keep it a hemisphere over this hemisphere diameter is 40 so the cross section of this is also is going to be a circular and this is also nothing but the horizontal surface So like we have seen in the previous problems where this, uh, this is the horizontal surface, vertical surface, vertical surface we need to draw an ellipse like this. In this case we are going to draw it for the diameter 60. So we have to count 6 boxes and we are going to draw it. So I just keep it, so I have drawn this ellipse. Now from here the axis height is, so the height of the axis is 50. So earlier I kept it as 60, I have changed it because it is, the axis length is 50. So now you can see from here the height is 20 because the hemisphere diameter is 40, half of it. So we have kept it the base diameter 60. From the center, this is exactly at the center, from here 5 box 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then we need to make, we cannot, we need to keep it tangent like how we did for a cone problem. Similarly from this point I need to keep it tangent so this is how the cone is being kept so this is a axis line this is just for your reference next I need to keep it from hemisphere over this vertex of the cone so from here to here it is the height is 20 the axis line is 20 so from here I am going to be drawing two box so this is 10 this is 20 now if I am going to be drawing the circle we are going to enclose this inside the box so I am just going to be create so we are exactly at this point right now from here to here it is 20 total diameter is 40 Similarly from this point to this point it is 20 Similarly from here to here it is 20 So we need to draw from the center I just make it thick lines but you need to draw it in thin lines because of construction lines Change the color for the reference From this point 10, 20 From here 10, 20 From this point 20 from here 20 so this is what what you have drawn from this center I have drawn in this case it is a horizontal surface so all lines is going to be inclined to 30 degrees after drawing this plus we are going to be enclosing the box similarly here I need to draw a line parallel to this so as a center I am going to draw parallel to this line wherever it ends I am going to join it we are not going to be joining like this we are not going to join to this point to this point this is a horizontal line and from here it is going to be vertical line I said that there is no horizontal lines in case of isometric projections so if you are going to draw like this that means you are going to be drawing from this end to this end that means you are going to keep the circle inside this box this is not drawn like that this is wrong so I need with respect to these lines this is parallel to it so same way we have to draw parallel lines so with this point again from here two box again from here two box same way I am going to take this point I am going to draw parallel lines 
it is not that I have drawn from here it is from the center I have drawn it next thing again then with the way we used to draw the circular lamina same thing we are going to draw horizontal lines minor axis and we are going to draw it so I have drawn this line drawing the ellipse next thing you know that we need to draw an hemisphere keeping this point as the center this is the radius we are going to be drawing this I have drawn this box it is for the reference that should be thin lines or else you have to rub it so I am going to remove all these lines similarly at the base we are going to be rub deleting it even this arc will not be seen similarly this point is not visible because it's a tangent point this is not seen the axis line is just for the reference that is also not required so I'm going to delete it you can see that here the vertex is above this hemisphere when you go to keep it in isometric this will not be visible so only this much is seen we need to mention at what angle it has been tilted so from here So I'll show, I need to show the angle. Hope you understood how to solve it.